to cite it. Is this in there? Yeah. I thought it was in there. Okay, the Protection and Welfare Committee for Monday, October 10th, 2016 is now in session. All uh, members are present, uh, Alder Dorf, Alder Zima, Alder Galvin, and uh, myself, Alder Scandal, as chair. Uh, I'll take a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Moved by Alder Dorf uh, and uh, seconded by Alder Galvin. All in favor? Aye. 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 Agenda is approved. Uh, I'll take a motion to approve the minutes for September 26, 2016. So moved. Second. Moved by Alder Zima, seconded by Alder Dorf. All in favor? Aye. 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 That passes. Okay, uh, item number four. Consideration with possible action on an application for a Class A liquor and Class A beverage license by University Fest, Inc. at 2430 University Avenue. Staff. Police Department has no objections. The attorney has no objections. Motion to approve. Motion by Second. Alder to approve. Second by Alder Galvin. Any discussion? This is liquor it's store too, then. It's a festival of food, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yep. yep. It's do festival. They, do they sell liquor oh, yeah. normally? Mm -hmm. Yep. Do they, I thought, didn't we have a rule that they have to have a separate entrance and all that sort of thing? Um, I don't know about that. Most, of, they they just they do. most of them do. The ones that I'm aware of in the city. We, we, we could ask if, if there is someone here. Make a motion open the floor. Second. Motion open the floor by Alder Dorf, seconded by Alder Galvin. All in favor? Aye. 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 The floor is now open. If you want to come up and just sure. uh, <coughs> state your name and your address, and then just please address all your comments to me. All right, uh, Randy. Um, Rick T. Garden, store director. I'll be at the, I'm presently at the Pier location. I'll be going to the university, we call it Green Bay North, so. Um, most of our, uh, our wine and spirits departments, except for maybe one in Janesville, has, a, has, a, has the ability to shop from the, from the sales floor into the wine and spirits. We have separate registers there, but the guest has been able to remove it from, from the wine and spirits and, sh and check out at their convenience in the, in the store. So um, that's what we're hoping for here. So it's separate, but not just walled off. Right. So if you're well, familiar with way I heard it, if I understood you right, and did you say that it is a separate store, but they're allowed to take it out of the liquor portion and, and check it yeah, out? Yeah, we, we keep it sep separate, guys, so we can um, so we can follow the city ordinances, wherever they may be, and, and it's locked up at that, those times. So it'll be walled off during the closed hours, and then when we're allowed to to sell, we open that area up and the guests then are able to uh, purchase their wine and spirits department, their purchase in that store or bring it into the store itself. Uh, I think uh, Green Bay East, Green Bay West, and the Pier are all in the same mode. So it doesn't have a separate entrance? So. It does have a separate entrance too. So it's just a, it's a matter of convenience for the guests. So they can, they can come into the main store or they can go just, if they just specifically are shopping wine and spirits, they can go in there. Uh, but if they choose to pick up eggs, grocery items, uh, they can, they can, there's, there, that's the area that we, sh we shut off and we open that area and they can just move uh, freely through the store. Well, this is not pertaining to you at all, or your store, but you know, just for your historical perspective, you see everything, we all say you get your foot in the door. And the foot in the door, there was historically no grocery stores sold liquor, period. Liquor stores. And there was a, Mr. Galvin probably remembers it back that far, but, and there was pressure to allow them to, they started with beer and then they, to have a liquor store, we were, the, the compromise was made at that time was that as long as it had a separate entrance, it was geared off and would be checked out by people that were responsible. That's, that was the condition to allow them to have liquor in their grocery stores. It had to be a separate entrance of that. Now, of course, they're just saying, well, it's a separate entrance. Well, what, what good is a separate entrance if you can take the stuff right out and check it out at the, at the, regular, the regular checkout? And as you know, when we 
when we did just spot checks, Mr. Galvin and I, what was the, the failure rate was like 75%. I mean, it was just a huge number. It was almost unbelievable. There was only about five or six out of uh, 50 or 60 that actually passed. Well, yeah, when I, when I was... Uh, uh, but, yeah, well, I'm just referring because, uh, you know, I, I don't know how much Mr. Galvin was involved in it, but we had the sting operation, and it was like a massive failure with just beer because there's so many different checkout people. <coughs> We're usually younger people. Uh, and so we made the condition that if they have it, it's got to be separate entrance. Every transaction's had to be done in there. Otherwise, if, if you aren't doing it that way, what's the point of even having it? If you're just going to be able to take it into the regular store and check it out. Uh, well, go ahead. I was just going to say that we um, take that responsibility very serious. In fact, you know, we, you know, we're aware of the, the audits that you guys do, but we also do internal audits that maybe you're not aware that we do. So once a month, we actually hire someone that looks of age and, and we test ourselves. So we're always testing ourselves against them. And that audit is uh, in the store. And so there's one audit in there and there's one in the wine and spirits department. And we do all four of our market stores, we do. So we're constantly reevaluating it. And then as far as the cashier training, you know, I've been in the business for a while and there's nobody that does it uh, as well as we do, I think, as far as taking that, that training to that next level and uh, making sure that they, they understand the consequences and they all, they all off, they sign off on the consequences because they, their job is at risk. There's fines, obviously, involved. So it's something that we talk about uh, on a regular basis to remind, you know, uh, I guess it comes back to Jim Hunter, who is our who is our mentor, basically, you know, he talks about remind, 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 whatever you want to learn, you just need to remind your team of it, and it becomes habit. Well, I just wanted to... Well, uh, before I we get into discussion, I was on the protection committee for a long time, and I don't know, some since I've been off, maybe they've liberalized the rules, I don't want to, you know, put it one person when right. others aren't by that. But, but can we save that for I discussion? I should even say punish. All, all can, we, can we save that for discussion, or just any what, questions? What, what are the rules, is what I want. Well, let's, okay. any questions for? Well, I don't have any questions. Right okay, then let's let's finish that up first, and then we'll take care of the other. Any other questions? No. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Andy. Yep. Uh, take a motion to close the floor. Second. Uh, motion by Elder Zima to uh, resume, uh, and seconded by Elder Galvin. All in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Aye. We're back in business. Uh, did any any other discussion? Yes. Well, <coughs> I frequently shop at festival, and um, I know that they. Um, religiously, if, if we're checking out some beer, some wine, and the person who, who is the, the checker is not of a certain age, someone else has to come over. I've personally been carded, although I'm a member of AARP, I've been carded at that festival. I have to produce my license. You're to not a member of AARP. I totally well, am. Well, is 14 years old again for that now. I totally am. So I, you know, I can speak from experience. And, and it used to be a lot more inconvenient when one did one's shopping and then had to, in the rain or snow, go outside the store or go into the other entrance. So I was very happy to see that it was a little more convenient when I wanted to make my Christmas rum balls that I could just pick that up quite easily. Well, we wouldn't want to disturb your routine. No, so, yeah. but I would say Festival really is responsible in my experience. They've been very responsible. Any other discussion? Well, my question is, what is our, did, did the policy change at some point in time? Uh, the last time I was on that committee, which was quite a while ago, that, that was, that had to be a separate entrance and people had to make their purchases. Separately, like years ago, Wood I know if you go to Woodman's, it's not know. separate anymore. Oh, it's a separate entrance. There. It's I a separate know. entrance. I thought you had to buy. You, have, you have to buy your. They do now. Still, you can bring yeah. your grocery cart in there, though. And yeah, you can and you can bring your grocery cart out. Th there's a there is there's a separate entrance, but there's also an entrance that in the store that, right. within the store. Because it's not open, but you can. Yeah. It's just a door that open. You know, so it's basically yeah. open. Yeah. 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 I mean, what what is, what is our rules? That's all I'm asking. What, what is our, or don't we know? 
We can look into it. I can have that information for you for the next meeting. Yeah. Uh, but I don't have that information right uh, now. I, I will say, well, I, I can well, just make approval on, on condition of that that's the policy to go out the city of Green Bay. Okay. Um, and if you could get that to us maybe by our next meeting before, sure. before the council meeting. Okay. Uh, uh, the last two years, it hasn't been brought up. So, on all the weary chaired it, I think he, well, of course, he doesn't go back as, the history doesn't go back as far as yours. So, but uh, he never, we had, uh, issued licenses to other stores without any, so it may be. I just remember what a war it was because the liquor stores were very totally against this mm -hmm. because their whole livelihood depended on, you know, liquor sales and they had a vested interest in making sure miners did get their hands on it and everything else. And they, they, they warned that this was going to become, that is a looser operation just by the nature of its operation and all that, but it, it, it took a while, but they finally got it through, and it was a separate entrance was the requirement. Now it's watered down the less, I guess. So I mean, if that is the case, I just don't remember it. I, I guess I just like my, my refreshed on what our policy is. Okay, yeah. uh, but the, is that a motion then to? Uh, to, to prove unconditional. That that's what our policy second? is. Second. Second. You get to pick. Ooh. Uh, motion by uh, Alder Zima, seconded by Alder Galvin. Party. Uh, 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 all in favor? Aye. 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 Well, I'll settle it for you. I just make a motion that we prove it by acclamation. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. There's <laughs> 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 the I'm, I'm always thinking for you. Right, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, so that's been approved. Uh, it'll it'll go to the council next Tuesday, and that'll be the final approval. But then we should know. But I'm assuming. I mean, uh, you're not unique your store in the way it's set up. So I don't. No, I'm it's assuming that that's all been checked into by everyone, and you're good. So okay. But thanks. thanks. Uh, and number five, consideration with possible action on an application for a Class B combination license by Babe Ooh. Zeke. Thank you very much. Did I get the first part right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, LLC at 1570 Elizabeth Street. Staff. Police Department has no objections. They uh, completed a security plan with us. City Attorney's Office has no objections. What is is this a bar or? It's the uh, labor the temple. temple. Oh, okay. Oh, very nice. Move to approve. I have some questions. Oh, okay. uh, motion to open the floor. Motion to open the floor. Second. Okay, motion by Alder Dorf to open the floor. Uh, seconded by Alder Galvin. All in favor? Aye. 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 Floor is now open. If you could just please come up and state your names and address and then just address your comments to me even though others may speak to you. Um, Jamie Zeke, um, do you want my home address? Yes, please. Okay, 10804 Francis Creek Road, Tri Rivers, Wisconsin, 54241. Um, Curtis Babe, uh, 2350 Lakeside Place, Green Bay. Okay. Yeah. Um, question? Yeah, looking at your security plan, it says you have 10 cameras hooked up to a security system. Are those cameras all operational? Mm -hmm. Yes. And how is the uh, image recorded? The quality? Well, what is it recorded to? Oh, it's recorded to a DVR. A hard drive. Hard drive? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you check the cameras to make sure you have good video feed? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you yeah. have your I have card readers? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I periodically um, you know, you, uh, go through them, make sure they're all um, still working and recording. And um, one of them actually goes back as much as 30 days. Okay, so it goes on a disk or it goes on a hard drive? It, a hard drive. Okay. I, if I wanted to take it off the hard drive and put it on a stick, I can do that. Okay. Do you have your scanner installed yet? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. The ID card, you know, for the driver's license? Yep. All right. Good enough. That's all the questions I had. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, should we turn to Was there anything oh. you wanted to add uh, yourselves or? No. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, should we turn to regular order? Second. 
A motion by Alder Dorf to return to order. Second by Alder Zimmel. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are back in regular order. What are your wishes? Motion approved. Motion approved by Alder Galvin. Second. Second by Alder Dorf. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 That passes unanimously. So Tuesday it'll go to council and that'll be the final say. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Item number six. Consideration with possible action on appeal by Robert Matthews to the dial of his operator license application staff. City Attorney's Office recommends denial based on the criminal background. And I, same. Well, he's listed as a, this is the individual listed as a felon, but he's not really, correct? I don't believe it's on there. I think we need to know. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. When you run Mr. Matthews, there's a clerical error, I believe. Um, he was charged with a felony. When he was convicted in Brown County Court, he was convicted of a misdemeanor. Uh -huh. Brown County Clerk of Court's office didn't take the felony off his record, so now when a law enforcement officer runs him, he comes up as a felon. felon. Okay, so this does say felony on page two. That's the second. That's the, s the next individual. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and Michael Moore. Oh. It's just a sorry, I didn't know they were stapled together. Yep, yep. I thought it was yep, the same no. person. Yep. So Mr. Matthews, although he has a pretty lengthy criminal history, it's all misdemeanors. Um, we talked to the clerk of court's office and confirmed. I also called probation and parole because he did spend some time on probation. Uh, he was on probation for misdemeanors. So he's going to have to get that. I don't think he's here, but he's going to have to uh, get that squared away with the clerk of courts to get that felony off of his prowl. Okay. Was he here before? Uh, he wasn't here last time. Robert Matthews, I don't think so. Okay. I'll make a motion to deny. Motion to deny. There's second for discussion, I guess. Second for discussion. There's a motion by Alder Gavin, second for discussion by Alder Dorf. So what do you want to discuss? Mr. Matthews present? No. So Was he made aware of the meeting? I'm yes. Assuming, yeah. So the ones at the bottom, if, if you're Yep, yep, me, go ahead, yep. Are all, they're juvenile, okay. And then, so he wants, it's an, it's an operator license. It's for operating a vehicle. Bartender license. It's, it's a bartender license. Yep. Mm -hmm. So there were two things with alcohol. Do you have a letter for this? Is there anything? Does he have? There's no, three. I, I huh? There are three. Okay. Zimmer to hold to for our next meeting, seconded by Alder Dorf. Any discussion? I guess I have no problem with that either. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So item six will be held over to our next protection and welfare committee meeting. Item seven, consideration with possible action on the appeal for Michael Moore to the denial of his operator's application. Uh, staff? Uh, he does have a felony conviction. Uh, the city attorney's office recommends denial based on his background. Okay. 
I see Mr. Wilbur is here. Yeah. Motion open the floor by Alderdorf. Second. Second by Alder Galvin. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, if you please step up and state your name and address, and then just address your comments to me, even though others may ask you questions. Oh. Uh, Michael Moore, 155 Burger Street. Uh, uh, service attendant at Grand Central Station. Uh, I do understand why my uh, license was denied or my uh, application was denied. It, on top of it being, being a felony, it, it's considered a violent crime. Uh, but uh, not making light of it, it was a situation with uh, discipline, physical discipline with my son. Uh, uh, the son I had be uh, before my marriage with my wife. Uh, uh, the situation was, uh, I was told, I was asked to refrain from discipline or physical disciplinary actions uh, for a year. And uh, around six or seven months later, I chose to uh, do the opposite and uh, was charged with the, the felony of reckless endangerment of a child. Uh, I, 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 it's unfortunate that, you know, <laughs> The situation is stopping me from uh, uh, providing for my family uh, right now. Uh, that's one uh, career obstacle that I could choose uh, and, and am doing good at right now. And, uh, but this, this is the only uh, thing that's stopping that from continuing. Yes? Um, can I ask what, what happened? Well, uh, it was, uh, it, like I said, it was a, a relationship that I, we had uh, when I was young. Uh, me and his mom split up. Uh, we decided that we were going to do shared custody, and she does, does the schooling, and I do the summer and vacations. And uh, he wasn't, it was, it was to the point where they were saying that either she was going to have to take him out of school or she was going to have to sit there with him in school. And uh, he respects me a lot, uh, and he behaves for me when he's around me, so she asked that I, I do whatever I needed to do in order to get him to uh, behave so that she didn't have to miss work. Uh, and, and doing that, obviously, uh, the, I am a disciplined, a physical disciplinary type guy. Uh, I, through this situation, I've learned the alternatives to physical discipline, which is a, a positive, a plus, uh, especially with uh, my, 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 my boys right now, five, four, and two. Uh, well, how old was the child and what did you do? He was seven years old. Uh, I, well, it was a, a whooping and it left marks on his, his behind. Uh, uh, second situation, same thing. Uh, uh, but the allegations were that I, I did more by his mom and uh, uh, I, would, I, I pled no contest, I uh, didn't want to fight the charges, uh, put him through anything, uh, happened to testify and, and do all that stuff like that. So I pled to the charges, received a year probation, and uh, went through, uh, prior to that, anger management and, and parenting classes on my own. Thank you. You're 31 years old? Yes, sir. And you're working at uh, Grand Central? Yes. And how long have you been working? Uh, for Since the, uh, July 11th was my first day. And you, uh, you're working as a clerical? Or you're working behind the counter? Yes. And so you need this license uh, so you can work like, sh you can be in charge of the shift, basically? Right. I can work a shift alone. Okay. Right now I'm unable to because of... What shift are you working First shift. And which one are they going to have you working? I'm first shift. Okay, and that's days, right? Yes. Okay. And you're, you're married, you have three children? I do. And they live with you? Yes, okay. one on the way, a girl on the way. And you've been, uh, you've been through anger management and parenting classes? Yes, I have. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Oh, this is all from five years ago? Yes, uh, five and uh, the prior situation was, I think, uh, an another four years, three years, four years. Another, our people would say, spare the rod, spoil the child, so I don't know. 
I guess that's passe though, right? Well, could be, but, but any questions? Ben Franklin don't but any more questions? No. Okay. Uh, I don't think I think everybody asked the questions that I had on my mind. Um, any other statements? Not. I. I, um, I. I appreciate this. This process. Okay. <laughs> you did. You did say that you took the parenting and anger management classes on your own. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is your Is your employer aware of your? He did. Training? He actually. He. Uh, he, he sent me with a, a little letter. I didn't bring it. I wanted to, you know, have it beyond <laughs> my own merit that you guys approve me. Well, she'd always that's an, that's an important letter. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always good to have backup. <laughs> it shows that uh, you have a, a network of support, and people need that. So that always makes a difference with us. Right. If some people, if they're left hanging on their own, it's tough to, right. you know. So if you got that network of support, it's a good thing to. To bring forward. Right. Okay. Motion to close the floor. Motion to close the floor by all the doors. Seconded by all the galvan. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, we are back in session. Any, well, a motion? Motion to approve. Motion by all the doors. Second. Second by all the galvan. Any discussion? Well, I would. Yes. I would uh, ask that we amend that to uh, providing he provides a letter from his employer that he's aware of his record and still wants to hire him. Okay. Okay. Uh, that, uh, I would that point out, though, that his employer must be aware of it. Otherwise, he wants to hire him. Yeah, if I want to, yeah, you do a background check. A background check, that would have shown right up. So I'm, I'm sure his employer is aware that. He's got the letter. How can he bring it? Where would he bring it to? Just well, bring it to the clerk. Oh, the clerk's office? The clerk's or the attorney's office. Okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a, I think it's important to see it. Uh, Where did it really come from? So we don't have to have a rush swap at another. Room no, no. Correct. Okay. If, okay. If, if it's I'll, amended, I'll go with that. Okay. okay. So there's an amendment to the motion that you need to bring that letter from your employer to the clerk's office or the law office on the second floor, clerk's office on the first floor, uh, before Tuesday. Before Tuesday. Before Tuesday, because that's when this will go to council and it'll be finalized. I can I come right back with it? Well, we won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the last one. So, yeah. so if you want to drop it off, you've got till Tuesday. Just yeah, just drop me. All you need to do is just drop it off. And and uh, okay. Uh, so the motion is uh, to approve with a, a condition of the letter from his employer stating that he's aware and wants to hire, aware of his family and still wants to hire him. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all in favor of? Uh, was there a second? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we vote by Alder Zuma, seconded by Alder Galvin. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, next Tuesday will be final. Bring that letter, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn by Alder Zuma. Second. Second by Alder Dorf. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's fun. Let's do this again sometime. This is like a record. Well, thank goodness. I thank said. God. Hey, I once went, we once had one where we were done in 10 minutes. Wow. We only, for, for a test demo time, we make sure that it's very short. Yeah. I appreciate that. I didn't really check. Oh, we can grab that. This guy. Can we turn heat back on? <laughs> yeah, yeah well, my goodness. I mean, uh, you'd think air conditioning wouldn't be on at the very least. He had deferred prosecution, which means he went before the judge and the judge was like, don't do that again. Or else you're really going to get in trouble. And then he did it. Again. Then he did it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was kind of minor.